this weekend. Did you hear that, Pop? You said weekend. That's the time you're supposed to rest. Says who? Anyway, it's the O'Leary Estate. Have you seen their backyard? Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It's gonna be you and me and dirt and worms. What could be better? I miss you guys.
first of all, it is one front flip before you get into the car, eh? And you have to look behind you to make sure they are not following you before you peel off. Listen, if somebody was chasing you, you wouldn't look back to see if they were still chasing you. You're stupid. Now I'm going to do two front flips, because I can. Dante, did we get that? No. No. Jean-Pierre, how do you say director in French? He, he's acting like a child. He is a child. <sighs> I should have opened the cafe. Listen, I don't care what you have to do, work it out. We're happy in Palm Beach. We want to stay here. How are you? Good. Know your lines? Yes. Can you stunts down? Yes. Hey, listen up. People are spreading the word that you're creating problems on the set, and there's a whole lot of cash right on this production. So, if you don't change your attitude, they will replace you. Got it? Yeah. I got it. Mm -mm. And another thing. No more pretend feigning spells to get to work. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Good. I'll see you later, babe. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, Elizabeth. Better not lose the stylus, or you might end up looking fat like in your last picture. I hate you, Eddie Tudor. You're getting mighty big for your britches there, kid. What does that mean? It means you're acting like a little jerk. You're not that cute little seven-year-old anymore, Eddie. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it, Jerry. Before my mom finds out, you're too old to read my contracts and gets a new agent. Whoa. Nice. Hey, what's up, little man? Nothing much. Just reading this book you gave me, it's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Glad you like it. Yeah, check out this part. Be careful in the use of mirrors. It teaches the actor to look on the outside and not the inside of his soul. That's an important one. Yeah. All right, what does it mean? Well, I think what he's saying is that acting is about real emotions, not just about making faces for the camera. Oh, like when Eddie Tudor tells Lady Elizabeth that she's the prettiest girl on the pirate ship? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Hi, matey. I'll never let one of you pirates free until I get my Lady Elizabeth with me. Lady Elizabeth, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. Thank you, thank you. Good show. All right, now it's your turn. No, I don't Come on. Wow, I'm not in the mood today. Come on, Miles. Oh, I'm tired. It's the morning. You it's know early. what? It's because you're lazy. And that's why you just sit on this lawn chair all day and do nothing. Come on. Fine. A short one. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. That was great. Thanks. It's too bad you got caught up in cheesy movies and lost your career. I didn't lose my career. I walked away from it because I became an idiot. Let's go, Tom! Ciao, amigo. Ciao, amigo. What's he got you speaking Italian for? Well, it's good to know accents for different roles. Yeah, well, just remember, we got a busy weekend ahead of us. Yeah, Pop. Look, I'm not so sure I want to work with you this weekend. You think I'm going to give you money? You got to work for money. I, I know, I know. It's just that the school has this acting club called the Broadway Players. And... The Broadway what? 
players. They meet every weekend and sometimes at night. I was hoping that maybe I could join. So you're going to join an acting? What about work? Well, maybe I can get a job in the studio after school and work on the sets. You don't know what you're talking about, though. That production in there ain't hiring locals, a bunch of pigheads with no respect for the working man. Palm Beach is looking to kick them out any day now. And that's why you are going to go to work this weekend, learn landscaping, and that's that. I don't want to learn landscaping. Landscaping is great work. I'm not good at it. And frankly, I just hate dirt. There's money in dirt. Look, Thomas. Look, Pop, I'll work with you this weekend. But not because I want to. His death was a necessary loss. Soon I will have a new apprentice, one that's younger and more powerful. Hi, Tom. Hey, Sandy. Hey, do any tutor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, loser! Can you just call me a loser? Yeah, I did. That's my girlfriend. The thousand pardons, sir. Uh... You talk to me in a normal voice, or I'm gonna punch you in the face. Ah, saved by the bell. That's the look of the Irish for you. Hey, matey, you dropped your sword. No way, man. That's not what a pirate would say. A pirate would say, I'll never drop me sword to you, you scurvy dog. Uh-oh. Tom Canty, I have had it with you. What's the matter with you, boy? Don't you have any interest in any of your subjects? Well, then what are we supposed to do with you? I can't possibly send you to detention again because it does no good. What do you want to do with your life? I want to be Eddie Tudor. Who? You know, the actor. He's in all the movies, like Pirates of the Peninsula and Spy Teen. You want to be an actor? Yeah, that's what I want to be. In all the movies. I, I mean, I have books on acting and everything. Then get yourself in an acting class. <laughs> but while you're in my school, I'm going to need you to behave and pay attention. Okay. Listen, the Broadway players are meeting in the auditorium this afternoon. You know what that is? Yeah. Then go. I don't even want to be an actor. I want to take the boat out. This was supposed to be my day off. What can I tell you? The schedule changed. This stinks. I don't get any time to breathe around this dump. I don't want to hear any more about it. Well, maybe if I had a dad, he'd want to hang out with me and I could get out of it. OK, enough with the guilt trip, Eddie. You have me. That's enough. OK, talk to me. Well, how'd it go? You were supposed to fix it. No, Ma Hold on. Eddie, uh, go in the trailer for a second, OK? I have to work out a little problem. Fine. Am I hearing this? Because I'm not happy. Not happy. Hey. Hey, I was just wondering, do you guys have any jobs available? On the lot? Yeah. Come back on Tuesday from 9 to 3. For what? To fill out an application. Oh, 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 I, I don't know if I want a job. I just want to see if there are any. Well, when you figure it out, come back on Tuesday from 9 to 3. OK, thanks. Hey. Eddie Tudor. <laughs> Psst. 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 Shh. I don't want your body 
bodyguard to beat me up or anything. I don't have a bodyguard. You don't? Who the heck are you? Tom Canty. Look, what do you want from me, an autograph? Oh, no, I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I don't have many friends. Just a whole bunch of old people and losers. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, well, it's pretty cool that you get to act in movies all the time. Oh, you're an actor? Yeah. What have you been in? This and that? Well, nothing yet. But I'm hoping to be. Why? I mean, it's not like it's fun or anything. It's not like you can take your boat out or blow up old set props when you want to. It's just rehearse this and act this. And smile here and go there. It's kind of annoying. Sounds great to me. You have a dad? No. No, my parents died. I live with my grandpa. You? Nah, never knew him. I don't know where he is now. Ooh, that's horrible. You want to see my boat? Sure. <laughs> cool. Wow, that's so awesome! It's an egg tide! <sighs> yeah, I know. Are you gonna take it out today? Well, not right now. But I do know how. I had to drive a boat for my last movie. I do all my own stunts, and the special effects people taught me how. They're the coolest people to know on the set. It's great. They even taught me how to hotwire it. Just for fun, though. And then we promised not to steal a boat. <laughs> Still sounds cool to me. Do you have an Xbox? No. No, my pop's really strict on stuff like that. Sometimes we go down to the local coffee shop and we can play some arcade games, but nothing more than that. I have an Xbox back in my trailer. You do? Wow, your mom really lets you play this? She has no idea what I do. Well, she wasn't always the producer, but now she's just busy all the time. Well, whatever, who cares? Yeah, my grandpa just works in people's backyards. I know Miles Enlon, though. Yeah, he's an actor. He used to work on this show called Palm Beach High. It was shot on this lot. I did a lot of movies in the 80s. He met Marlon Brando once. That's his hero. Who? Marlon Brando, the greatest actor that ever lived. Oh. Whoa. Is that your suit? Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. You know, it's not a shiny close up. Well, that's because they spray this shiny goo all over it before I shoot. It's cool. And that's where you keep your G4X laser. Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I try it on, do you? No, go ahead, whatever. Sweet. Wait a minute. Take this. Whoa. Come in. You're ready for rehearsal, Mr. Tudor. Well, Eddie, I should be going. Maybe we can switch it hang out again sometime. Oh, wait! See ya. Well? Oh, yeah? I'll wait for you outside. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing? This is 
gate out. I think we just had an intruder. Jesus, go and do that crazy mind of yours. You know, you had me worried half to death. You know that? When you didn't come over from school, I knew exactly where to find you. Now get in there. You know, you think you want to be an actor because you think it's easy, huh? Put your seatbelt on. Life is about hard work and sacrifice. You don't get something for nothing, Thomas. You got to work. And you work hard, good things will happen. What do I always tell you? Well, what do I always tell you? You know, a crazy person could have snatched you right up off the street and kidnapped you. Look, I tried to be good to you. I know you had it hard. And well, I haven't had to be a real parent in a long time. And the only reason I push you is because I love you, kid. Just go to work. Okay. Okay, Eddie. You know what the seat is. Start at one. Pick up the laser. Do a little banana. Eddie, you getting this? And after you make your banana and land on two, go camera left and deliver. Got it? Good. Roll sound. All right, everybody. Let's go, solve one. Rolling. Action. Let's go. Laser. Pick up. Banana two. Banana. Eddie. Eddie. Come on, kid. We did it a thousand times. Banana. He's not supposed to faint. Stop it. I'm not touching that stuff. Well, you used to think it was funny. You used to make me laugh. Well, I can make you laugh. Hey, listen, let's just do the work, lay this stuff out, and then we go home to dinner. Knock, knock. What? Knock, knock. <sighs> Who's there? Interrupting cow. What? Not what. Who? Knock, knock. <sighs> Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. No! <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Move. <laughs> are you crazy? What are you high? No. You're funny. I'm funny. Yeah. What's got any of Tom? Hmm? Oh, no. I'm not Tom. I'm Eddie Tudor. I'm an actor. Tom's back at my trailer. We switch places. It's good to meet you. You know, you gotta stop this. You're starting to scare me. Well, I'm not Tom. Just look at my face. We switch clothes and everything. You're gonna give your pop a heart attack. No, you don't get it. You're not my pop. That's the way you feel, then uh, I'm heading home. I don't feel much like work today. No, I didn't mean it like that. It's, it's just, I'm not Tom. Uh. He can't keep working this hard. Oh, Jerry, don't be so dramatic. You don't think maybe you're pushing him too hard, huh? He's faking. You've seen him do it a hundred times. He's just looking for attention. Ah, maybe that's because he needs it. What do you mean by that? You haven't even been in there to see him. Look, Jerry, I'm a single mom. I'm doing the best that I can. Mm -hmm. I have been working very hard to make a better life for that kid. You're gonna throw it in my face. Besides, he's passed out for Christ's sake. He wouldn't know if I was in there or not. Let's 
go, kid. The jig is up. I said, let's go. We know you're faking. I'm really sorry. It all happened so fast. I just came in here to see Eddie Tudor, and then we switched clothes and the production assistant... Hold it! What are you talking about? I thought you knew. I'm not Eddie. My name's Tom Canty. I've had it. We've all had it. I know your little fainting spell was a put-on. Huh? It was a fake. I'm saying I know your faint was a fake. How can you fake a faint? Oh, you can fake a faint. You can't fake a faint. I've seen you do it all over the lot. The stunt guys taught you how three movies ago. You've got to get your priorities straight, Eddie. I'm not Eddie. You're driving me crazy. And I have to tell you the truth. They're thinking of replacing you. They think you've lost your appeal. Losing appeal? Eddie Tudor, are they crazy? <laughs> you've got to get your act together. Know your lines, come on time. No mouthing off, no practical jokes, no fainting spells, and no telling me you're not who you are. Believe me, kid. You say that to one person out there, and you are toast. They'll pull the plug on this production, your mother will lose a job, and no one will work with you again. Can that really happen to someone like Eddie Tudor? <laughs> it's show business. You bet your butt it can. Miles. Phony actors. Hey. Hey, pal. What's going on? Nothing much. Got a phone? You got someone to call? Yeah. Why don't you go in the house and use your own phone? He's sort of mad at me. We haven't met. I'm Eddie Tudor. Now, why don't you stop that? That's gonna do nothing for you but get you grounded. I'm serious. Yeah, so am I. What is wrong with you people? You're all crazy. I mean, don't you know who's who around here? Look at me. I'm Eddie Tudor. Shut up! Get in here! Ciao, amico. Hey! Ciao, amico. Ciao! What? Do you have anything else to eat? What? Well, it's not a veggie burger, and I'm a vegetarian. What do you want from me? What? You want to go to acting classes? What loser wants to go to acting classes? That's what I was saying. Yeah, why would I want to do that? I'm already a movie star. You're going to stop this, Tom. I'm not Tom. I'm Eddie Tudor, and if you don't mind, I'd like to borrow your phone so I can call the studio and have someone come and pick me up. Tom is probably looking for me to switch places with him again. You're completely losing it. Why don't you just fix yourself a peanut butter jelly sandwich? There's nothing I can do here. 
Hopefully you'll feel better in the morning. <laughs> then don't go anywhere. I'll be back to pick you up when they're through with you. Who? What? Who? What? Who's gonna be through with me after they're done doing what? It's wardrobe. You're being fitted. Oh, of course. Oh, no way. That was Lady Elizabeth. I can't believe I did that. You are a jerk, Eddie. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. What? You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Ready, Mr. Tudor? I'm really sorry. Come out, you hit the mark, oh yeah, blah, 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 water, good. I'm gonna get me some of that, money, 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 get that, go. I'm gonna get me some of that, I'm gonna get me some of that. like you running around down there this late. Does this kid get to do anything? I saw you on the posters in Tom's room. Oh, don't start in about my career. I don't want to hear about it. And stop talking like you're somebody else. You're freaking me out. Why'd you go from starring in big movies to just sitting on a lawn chair all day? I said lay off it today. I just want to know what happened. I quit, that's what happened. I don't blame you. Acting stinks. Is your pop getting to you? You can't let him do that. I left the business because I didn't like who I was, not because I didn't like acting. I was a nasty person, especially to those people who really cared about me. And soon nobody would work with me, so it all went away. It was all gone. The people who I thought were my friends, they would just tag along. The people who were really my friends, they were long gone. So I moved here. And here I stay. Because I like this. I like this lawn chair. It's not acting that stinks, Tom. It's the person you become when you don't appreciate what you have. Look, just tell the old man I decided to take a walk for a while. You can't go down there by yourself. I'll be fine. Oh, come on. 
Come on, let's hang out. We'll talk Stanislavski. Stanislavski? Look, I'm leaving. Come in. Yeah. Uh, the director wanted me to tell you that today was a better day. It's uh, rare that we make it through a day without any hassles from you. He wanted you to know you did a good job. He said, keep it up. See you tomorrow. Don't be late. I won't. What's up? You better get dressed, kid. You got an appearance. An appearance? Yeah. Interview to promote Spy Team 3. You remember that one? Oh, I'm exhausted. Well, see, that's what happens when you have a good day. Okay, I'll get dressed right away. Good. I'll meet you in the limo in a half an hour. Tom, are you heading to players? Um, no. Why not? Uh, I don't know, why? I thought you said you were going that song. Oh, well, what is it? You know, acting group. We're gonna rehearse some scenes and decide what play we're putting up and stuff. Oh, do you get paid? <laughs> they don't pay, it was for fun. Sounds like a bunch of losers to me. <laughs> wow, that was mean. I guess you're a jerk outside of school. No wonder you have no friends. Wait, um, I guess I'll go. Are you running away? Man, all you people are crazy in this town. Are you running away from home? Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Look, Tom, I know it's been tough on you with your pop, but you gotta go back. I'm not going back to that nut house. Don't say that. Where are you gonna go? I'll go back to the set and switch places with the real Tom. Then he'll come back here and everything will make sense. But first, I'm going to follow that pretty girl who just called me a jerk. Then I'll just follow you and make sure that you go straight home after. Fine, but just don't talk to me in front of the ladies. All right, let's go. Cool. Damn it, let's make a move. Hey. Take it easy. We're all set? Yes, sir. Cool. Welcome to our first meeting of the Broadway Players. <laughs> now, based on many conversations I've had with some of you, I've narrowed down our first production options to just a couple. Our first production is always Shakespearean. None of us are interested in any of those droll tragedies that are done over and over again by countless amateurish companies. So, uh, let me tell you what we've narrowed it down to. We have a comedy of errors. As well as much ado about nothing. What we're gonna do tonight is we are going to vote so I've got some ballots. And I think this will be quite fair. Here we are. There we go. What's she even talking about? Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Hey, where are you going now? Well, I ain't hanging out with those losers. You seem pretty cool to me. Well, it isn't. It's stupid. And who cares about Shakespeare anyway? The guy's been dead for like 2,000 years. Come on, don't be intimidated. You can always learn. That's what school's for, right? Look, lay off, man. I mean, why do you even care what I do anyway? I've known you since you're a little kid, Tom. You're my buddy. I'm going. And don't follow me, okay? Hey, you can stop following me now. 
Tom is in the trailer waiting for me to come back and switch places. Then, I'll be a movie star again, and he can go back to planting trees. Watch, you'll see. Hey, I'm Eddie Tudor. I need to get to my trailer. You again? Beat it, kid. Excuse me? I said get out of here and stop playing around. I don't know if you know who I am, but I need to show up on set or you'll lose your job. How about that? Well, if you were Eddie Tudor, you'd be on a plane to Miami. How about that? You're not in there, Tom. I'm not talking to you. He's right. Tom, look. All the trailers are gone. They must have moved to a different lot. No. They're gone, Tom. Yeah, I can see that. I want to know where they went. They went to Miami. Miami? Yeah. They changed locations to save money. They read all about it in the paper tomorrow. It's OK. There'll be another production in here soon. Another production? What were they thinking? How could they leave without me? They wouldn't go anywhere without you. Now come on, snap out of it, will you? You're right. They wouldn't. Because they still think I'm there. Because that little punk is pretending to be me. Tom. Stop calling me Tom, you crazy psycho. Now which way is Miami? Don't be ridiculous. Tom! If I had a nose full of nickels, I'd sneeze them all at on the jet, come on. No, wait a second, where are we going? Not far, come I'm on. I'm not getting on that jet. Oh, you're getting on that jet if I can drag you on myself. All right, here we are. Now, just sit right down here. Good girl. Eddie, take your sunglasses off inside. It's too obnoxious even for you. Take them off. I'd like to keep them on. By the way, where are we going? We're going to Miami. Wait, I, I thought I had an appearance for Spy Team 3. Oh, you do? In Miami. Well, why didn't you tell me this? Because we all know how dramatic you are, Eddie. Can somebody open okay. those doors? Okay, Eddie, 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 sit down. Listen, we have to go to Miami, okay? Now why don't you just calm down and we will talk about it. Look, I'm not Eddie. Do you hear me? I'm not Eddie Tudor. My name is Tom Canty. We switched places this afternoon. Okay, you know something? This is ridiculous. I'm not going to stand for this behavior. I am sorry. We have to relocate, okay? It's just as simple as that. Relocate? We ran into a bit of a tax issue in Palm Beach, so to save some money, we have to move to Miami. Now listen, there's nothing I can do about it. I know you love your boat. We'll get you My boat? boat. Uh, let me off of this jet. Okay, I don't want you to overreact. So let's just take a big breath and calm ourselves down. Listen to me. Big breath in, big breath out. I big wanna go home! Listen, I've just about had it with you, Eddie, all right? You are going to Miami if I have to fly this plane myself.
You cannot steal this boat. It's my boat. Your pop is going to kill you if you get arrested. He's just starting to come around about the acting lessons. Who wants acting lessons? What are you doing? Give me that key. Give me the key. Give me the key. You want this key? Yeah. There. What did you do that for? Because if you steal that boat, you're going to get arrested. The whole movie is gone. It's gone, Tom. If you were really a part of it, you'd be with them. They left me. Mom left me. Come on. Let's go home. It's showtime, cutie pie. Wake up. Wake up. You must have been tired. You've been sleeping for eight hours. Where are we? Sunny Miami. You're gonna love it. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to get back to Palm Beach. Well, there's nothing in Palm Beach. We took it all with us. <sighs> Pop. Miles. You have a bad dream? You just breathe and relax. Let it go. No, no, you really don't get it. I, I have to get back to Palm Beach. Well, what is the attachment to Palm Beach? Okay. Look, if you relax, Palm Beach is an hour away. Do your work. We'll go visit anytime you want. Tonight? <laughs> Tonight. Fine. You do a good day's work. We'll go to Palm Beach. Hey, is that mean lady gonna yell at me again? You mean your mother? That's his mother? It's just a situation that got completely out of control. It wasn't being handled properly. We never should have had to leave Palm Beach. They practically threw us out. Bunch of hicks. Why'd they kick you out? What? I said, why'd they kick you out? Why don't you go back to learning your lines and getting water dumped on your head? Don't worry about what the big producers are doing, OK? Don't talk to him like that. Eddie, it's just a little too complicated for you to understand. That's all. Oh, really? Yeah, well, what I heard is that you guys are a bunch of stuck-up pig heads with no respect for the working man. You guys are gonna get kicked out sooner than later. Well, that's just what I heard. Really? Yeah. What was that? I was telling the truth. Well, don't do that. First team, first team, I need Eddie. All right, get going. And no fainting. Eddie, come on. All you have to do, stand on your spot, say your lines to Elizabeth. Think you can handle it? Yeah. Okay, great. Roll sound. Want to shoot through your arsenal just in case? Yeah, we better shoot everything with this kid. All right, Eddie, this is very important. This is the biggest moment of the movie, all right? Okay. Do your best here, buddy. And... Action! I just want to tell you that in times of danger, when the universe is in our hands, and the madness of everyone around us makes no sense, I'm really glad to have you as a friend. 
and as a fellow protector of goodness. We will beat evil darkness and Dr. Know-it-all and their evil motives. We will save our planet. Innocence and goodness will prevail. So, once and for all, are you with me? You know it. And cut! Excellent! I think that was so good. Oh, that nice. was like anything. That was so yeah. different from everything else. It was <laughs> really good. That was excellent. Elizabeth, you were great. Eddie, that was awesome. We're gonna do one more for safety, okay, buddy? All righty. All right, settle in, everybody. Come on, Mom, pick up. Mom, how could you do this, Mom? Come back and get me. I'm, I, I'm in some crazy man's house back in Palm Beach. I, I don't even know where I am. Tom! Tom! Time to go! Hey! You see Tom? Tom? Hey, Tom! He's not in his room. He's supposed to work today. Yeah, I saw him. Left a little while ago to play baseball down at the field. Baseball? Yeah. Are you sure? That's what he said. Huh. Should lay off that kid a little, you know? What'd you say? I think you're a little hard on him, that's all. You think I care what you think? Fine life you're living. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, don't say. This is the appearance we postponed, remember? Eddie, you gonna speak to me? You said we can go back to Palm Beach. Oh, we will, okay? I promise. We didn't get finished shooting till late last night, but everybody is talking about what a great job you did. So just keep your answer short and sweet. Did you get that last part? What part? Sweet. Yeah, got it. Yeah, well, your mother said to have fun, and she couldn't be here because she has a production meeting that she couldn't get out of. So listen, we'll keep this fairly simple. I'll ask you a couple questions about the movie, and you say it's great, maybe throw in a funny story, something like that. Does that sound good? 
Yeah, sounds great. Great, so let's get started. So here we are at the Tiki Grill with the one, the only, our favorite spy teen, Eddie Tudor. So tell me, Eddie, how does a good spy teen start his day? What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Uh, piece of gum, I think. A piece of gum. Wow, kids, don't try that at home. <laughs> Tell us, is there a lovely uh, she spy in your life? What? You know, don't be secretive. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, <clears throat> um, no, no, not currently. And here's the question we are all dying to know. Are you a briefs or boxers kind of guy? You mean my underwear? Yes, of course. It says a lot about a person. Oh, uh, I guess whatever my pop buys me. Your pop? It's widely documented that your father is no longer in the picture. Is this an exclusive that you are now back in contact with your deadbeat dad? This interview is over. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? What happened to the boat that was docked here? Oh, don't worry about it. They caught the kid that stole it. They got him down to the police station right now. Who'd have thought a 14-year-old kid could hotwire a boat? Thanks. Are you? What? Don't play games with me. I know you're not, Eddie. I know it. So you can tell me who you are, or you can wait until I call everybody else out here and they can ask you too. So, who are you? <sighs> Tom Canty. Where's Eddie? Somewhere in Palm Beach. How? Look, we switched places. It was a joke. And he was supposed to come back at the end of the day, but he never showed. I had no idea I'd end up in Miami. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell? Eddie. Elizabeth, I need to speak to Eddie alone, please. Thank you. Sure. I was just leaving. Eddie, I need to know what's going on with you. Do you think I'm a bad mother? What? No, I work really hard for you, Eddie. I work hard for us. Look, I'm sorry you don't have a father. I'm sorry you don't know who he is. Okay, you want to know about him? Fine. He was an actor who couldn't cut it, so he left the business, and so he left us. Okay, he left us before he knew you were in the picture. You're old enough to know that now. And I decided not to tell him about you because we are better off that way. Someday when you're older, you'll understand that. But those are our secrets, Eddie. These are not things that you tell people on TV. I mean, what is the story that you made up about your father buying your underwear? Let me tell you something else. If you ever leave me another freaky voice message saying that you're trapped in some crazy man's house in Palm Beach, oh, you're gonna get it. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. You know, you were really starting to freak me out, Eddie. Just knock it off. Steal it. It's my boat. No dice, kid. You better start piping up and tell us who to call to bail you out. Either that, or you spend a night here. Don't scare the kid. You know very well he's a minor with no previous charges. You can even get that far in the darn boat. Oh, wow. You're that guy. You were on that show. I remember you. Come on, Tom. Posted bail for you, and I didn't tell your pop. Okay? Come on, let's hear it. What was that line you used to say at the beginning of every show? Bert Donovan, Miami Squad. You know, I remember that show. You were a huge star. A real mean guy, too. 
I brought my kid to the set one day because he just wanted to say hello. And you treat us like two pieces of garbage. You begin to see the light. I guess you could say that. How long you lived down here? About 10 years. Well, Palm Beach is a nice place to retire to when your career goes in the toilet. Although maybe if you weren't such a jerk, your career would be in the toilet. Can we just please finish up the paperwork? You the kid's Lego guardian? Uh, no. Well, then I can't let him go with you. Well, maybe I could make a donation to your benevolent association or... Oh, yeah, you probably make a lot of money on those rerun checks, huh? How much of a donation? I don't know, about 200 bucks. How about 500? Fine. Uh, who do I make this out to? The Police Athletic League. For the kids. Since you like kids so much. Hi, kid. There you go. You have a nice day. Thank you, officers. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. Well, as soon as I get to Miami. Tom, you are not going to Miami. Now look, I know you've had it hard. Losing your parents and Having to live with your grandfather, I know that can take a huge toll on a kid. But listen to me. You gotta stop this. You gotta pull yourself together, because I'd hate to see you end up in some sort of hospital. But you keep hot wiring heavy machinery, that's where they're gonna send you, or Juvie Hall. Now, it's just a matter of time before your pop finds out what you did. So let's just go home and deal with it, okay? I'm not going anywhere but Miami. Look, I just spent a lot of money on you. You're gonna do what I tell you. You're not my dad. No, I'm not your dad. But I care about you. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you're a good kid. And I don't want to see you get in any more trouble than you already are. Now, come on, let's go. You can't walk to Miami. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to find the Hi. Hi. Hey, thanks for not saying anything. It's okay. What are you gonna do? I have no idea. I tried to tell him I'm not Eddie and I think I'm going crazy. And now Eddie's left behind somewhere and who knows what kind of trouble he's in. I think you did Eddie a favor. You do? Yeah. Why? Because he was about to get fired. Everybody knew it. Everybody except Eddie. Now they're not saying that anymore. Well, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep this little game up. Well, we have to keep it up and pretend that everything's normal. I mean, at least until we figure out how to get Eddie back. Yeah. Pops is probably really sad. Why don't you call him? Then what? Ask him to come get you? Then what? Eddie will really be fired if they found out he pulled a stunt like this. And on top of that... What? He's gonna be really mad. If I'm dead. It's not funny, milady. It's not. <laughs> oh, so you like accents. Well, how about Francois? Oui, oui. Oui. <laughs> I didn't even do New York. Hey, yo, babe, you know, you and I can go out for coffee. Am I dreaming, or are you two getting along? No. I hear them. <laughs> Women. I'm gonna find that kid and knock him out, and go back to my life. That little punk won't be in my shoes much longer. And you can't force me to stay here, either. I'm telling you, I'm only here to figure out a way to sneak away again. And this time, I won't get caught. Are you out of your mind? Oh, no. You know what I just heard? It's some kid claiming to be a movie star tried to steal a boat out of the marina this morning, and he looked a lot like my grandson. 
and then some washed up actor bail him out. Now, I don't know what's going on. Hey, come on now. Go a little easy on the kid, will ya? You're not his family. Don't tell me how to raise my grandson. Come on. For Christ's sake. Do you know the whole go all over the old family? And the people are gonna come at him? Hey, Billy, how's it going? Uh, not bad. Not gonna do it today. Absolutely. Good work, Eddie. Hi. Good work, Eddie. How are you doing? Hey, Eddie. Hey, Billy. Okay. Great job yesterday, Eddie. Oh, thank you. You were great too, Elizabeth. Yeah, thanks. Now listen, you know your scenes for today, right? Hey, Nick. Yes, Jerry, what can I do for you? Huh. I just wanted to tell you before somebody else did, there was a little problem in Palm Beach with Eddie's speedboat. Some kid claiming to be Eddie tried to steal it. It's all taken care of. They arrested the kid, the boat is safe, and it's on its way here, just like Harlan requested. Such a beautiful day. Okay, good, because you know the producers are here today, right? I know. What happened to Eddie? I mean, the kid who stole my boat. I don't know. Some old movie star bailed him out. It's a bizarre town. I'm so glad we're out of there. And you are too, aren't you, Eddie? Yeah, sure. Listen, darling. Your boat's going to be here any second now. This is a big day today. We don't want to mess it up, do we? No. I gotta talk to you. All right. Now, now, just listen to me. You will work with me when I say, here's your $20 you earned. You will pay Miles back. You will not join that acting club. You will not wear that gel on your hair. And you will not get in trouble in school. You hear me, Tom? Things are all right with us. Till a year ago, and then what happened? When are you going to get over this acting stuff, huh? What is that, a phase? I don't know how to do this. I wish your mother was here, you know? All I can do is ground you. All right, I want you to go to your room and stay there till I tell you to come out. Come on. And what do I always say to you? I only push you because I love you, kid. I only push you because I love you. Go to your bed. Mom, it's me, Eddie. All right, look, I forgive you for leaving me behind, but whoever the kid is pretending to be me on the set isn't me. His name is Tom. That's all I know. You have to kick him off the set and come back to get me in Palm Beach. I'm with some crazy old man named Pop. Just, this time I'm serious. All right. Why do you come off lying to me about my grandson? I never lied to you. You know he wasn't at the ball field. You stay away from the kid, you hear me? I don't trust you. Look, he was gonna run away. Now, I don't know if he's really going crazy or if he's just pretending. But either way, he wants out. And if you keep pushing him, that's where he's gonna go. You hear me, you stubborn old man? <laughs> Miami. Miami? Yeah. There's no answer. Leave a message. No. Yes! Fine. Hi, Pop. It's Tom. I'm really sorry, but I switched places with Eddie Tudor, the movie star, and now I'm in Miami on his movie set with no way to get home. Could you pick me up? Well, I'm really sorry, and I hope you're not upset. Thanks. I'm a dead kid. Well, we don't have to keep it up for too much longer. Are you gonna go back to Palm Beach? Yeah, I guess. You know, we could still email. 
Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, you're really good at this. At what? At being Eddie. I mean, you're a better Eddie than Eddie ever was. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not Eddie. And he's probably out there somewhere, maybe even arrested. Yeah, you're probably right. Bed your burger, please. Thank you. Yeah, hi. The Eddie Tudor production that was shooting at your studio, they moved down to Miami. You know what studio they moved to? Thank you, thank you very much. Are you sure this is where he's going? It's where he said he was going, no matter what I did to try and stop him. He wants to be Eddie Tudor, and he's going to the movie set to be him. And what if he gets there and chickens out? You don't know Tom very well, do you? Fix your laser, and all your props will be ready in the trailer within the next hour. Oh, thank you. How are you doing, my man? <sighs> all right. Look, I'm not Eddie. Oh. I, I think he stole his boat back to get here. And he might be arrested, he might be in some crazy man's basement, or he might be with Miles. Hey, I don't know. All I know is, is that I'm not him. You were doing so good. What the heck happened? You said I could go back to Palm Beach. I want to go now. I'm not Eddie. You know what? Today is not the day. And quite frankly, I don't care who you are. Just act like a professional. Do your job. Finish the day. And then maybe I'll think about taking you to Palm Beach. You said that yesterday, you liar. First team. Look, they all love you today. Just give them what they want. Maybe you'll still have a career. What the? Can we get hey! Anyone set, please? Take hey! Away. What the heck is this message? Uh, I don't know. I gotta go on go. set. No. Eddie, wait. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yeah, hi. We want to go to a movie set. Which one? Actually, we're extras on the Eddie Tudor project. They didn't tell us where we're supposed to report. Spy Team 3? That's it. Has there been a kid claiming to be Eddie Tudor uh, trying to sneak in here yet? No, sir, not yet. Section three, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Hey, um, I'm with those guys. You must be pretending to be Eddie Tudor. Uh... <laughs> Section three. Thanks. Now, Eddie, big, big scene, okay? This is it. I don't have a lot of time. I need to get this in one, maybe two for me, okay? Can you do that? Uh, yeah. Great, right, buddy. Let's go, let's get this. Okay, look, I talk it over with Charles, and he say, if you want to do two front flips, it's fine, but the tambour has to be sped up. The timing has to be wide, or it won't work weird, okay? I will not compromise timing. If you have a problem with this, you can talk to your director. Honestly, I've been with you since you are five doing stunts. What, what is the problem all of a sudden? Okay, okay, okay. Relax. Left. We got a sequence to shoot. Now you set on two flips? Uh, okay, then it's settled. Just speed up the tumble. Can you speed up the tumble? Yeah, speed up the rumble, got it. Uh, tumble, no, no, tumble. He's not ready. We have professional stuntmen to do this. Why, why you don't do that? That's crazy. Okay, relax, relax. Okay, remember? Evil darkness will hurl you to the air at top speed. You land into the tumble, and that twice the timing, catapult yourself into two front flips, which I think is egregious, but it's fine. Bounce back to your feet, big finish. Jump into the race car and drive away. Huh? Should be lovely. You ready for this, sir? Rehearsal's up. I, I don't think, I, I mean, I, I, well, well, I am thinking about it. Get out of my way. Hey. Stop, you punk. Oh, thank God. Huh? Pop? Mom? Eddie? Julia? Miles? Oh my god. Julia? I'm Harlan now. Mom? Who are you? The 
tried to tell you. I'm Tom Canty. You're dead! Right. Oh. Wait, wait, come back here! Oh. Hey! We gotta see the shit. wasn't you. That's horrible. I know. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, I am... li listen. I have to tell you something. What? I know you pushed me hard because you love me. Yes, baby. It's because I love you. I missed you, Jerry. Oh, I missed you too. Oh, Tom? Wait a minute. Are you Tom? Yeah, Pop, it's me. Why is it not you? It's a long story. I don't care. I'll tell you everything later. Hey, Miles. Hey, Tom. You really did it this time, huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, kid. I love you. I'm proud of you, buddy. Listen, you're, uh, you're ready. He's not. Look, I just need someone to shoot this scene. So, let's get on with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> go get him, Tiger. Go get him, baby. Uh. Well, that's what I call a family. I had no idea you had a son, Julia. My name's Harlan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You know, when I, uh, when I left town, I didn't... I didn't... Miles, don't. Really, I'm not looking for an explanation. No. It was because of me. Because I was no good for either of us. And he's a great kid. Talented, too. I got to know him a little bit when I thought he was Tom. <laughs> Yeah, he's, um, really dramatic. Guess he gets that from me, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, those crazy kids. He's your son. <clears throat> what? What? Uh, um, yeah. I didn't tell you because I just figured you really wouldn't care. I mean, you left, so... Well, that might have been valuable information for me to have. 
I might have stayed. Yeah, well, now you know. I owe you a big apology, you little actor, you. I tried to tell you. <laughs> you really did. He really did try to tell me. But now at least I know why you were so anxious to get back to Palm Beach. So listen, I've been thinking. You are a real natural. Oh, Kids got talent. Did you know that? And I've been thinking. This production company's gonna do a remake of Prince and the Pauper, Mark Twain's. And they were gonna use a set of twins, but um, I don't know about you, but I think Tom and Eddie would be fantastic. And, and then, let's face it, they fooled us. Yeah, I guess they did. <laughs> so, you wanna do something like that? I mean, act in a real film? Hey, I'm good at it. <laughs> you could be good at anything, Thomas. Uh, I wanna know if it's what you wanna do, you know, and even if it's hard. Yeah. No more landscaping? No more landscaping. <laughs> I want to be in the movies. Okay, then, uh... Let's do it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pop! Right. Thank you so much! You bet. You bet. Thank All you, right. Jerry. Oh, Tom. Mm. You having fun? Yeah. I'm actually glad to be back. Sorry I took your car. Sorry I didn't believe you. Don't worry. I will pay you back for the bail and that stuff. You don't worry about that, really. Oh, you know, you're, you're a lot younger than I was when I first started doing this. You know what the hardest lesson I ever learned was? What? Be gracious. Treat people with respect. Do you do that? I will now. It's good. And it pleases thee, sir. Where dost live? Oful Court. Come with me. And cut! That was great, guys. That's a print. Beautiful, beautiful guys. So, oh. apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, does it? No, I guess not. That's a great job, Tom. Thanks. Yeah, you too, pighead. Thanks for noticing, snot nose. Just kidding. <laughs> Veggie dog. One hamburger, one veggie dog. Coming up. A veggie dog. A veggie dog? What's a veggie dog? You know, a hot dog made out of vegetables. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> LA's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it's, it's really hot. And it's not humid like it is out in Florida. Get used to it. <laughs> I do miss my lawn chair. I bet you do. Oh, so what do you guys want to do today? You got a football? Yeah. Yeah, let's play some football. Hey! Yeah. 
All right, show me what you got. Uh, you will love this. It's it's simple and, and beautiful, okay? okay? First, the right. <coughs> uh -huh. It comes back, the gosh. <coughs> uh -huh. Now, here's the results. <coughs> uh -huh. I don't know, give me some jazz it up a little bit. Jazz, jazz, what is it, dance? How about this? <coughs> now, now, I don't know, weak, it's weak. Hit him again. Get... <coughs> what about that? No. No. Uh, you're not hitting him hard enough. Hit him. Show me something. Oh. It's nothing. It's nothing. What if he's not Hooper? Yeah. 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 Yeah.